Hello, and welcome to this course on AWS Concepts. In this particular video, we're going to start out by talking about the course material and features here to help you learn and understand these concepts and study them if need be. For this purpose, I've broken out the material and features that we have into these two sections so we can briefly talk about them and then I'll give a quick hands-on walkthrough. So in terms of course material, this course is heavily focused on video lessons to convey the information to learn AWS concepts. There's also a quiz at the end to recap and test the knowledge that you've learned during this course. There is also a what's next video, which is the last video in this particular course. And that video really talks about what courses or what things you can do here at Linux Academy after you've completed this particular course. So what knowledge have you learned in this course and what will that knowledge set you up for in terms of future certifications or future courses and really to help guide you as you move forward after this course. There are study guides, which is the area of the course that provides some ancillary information that you can download. In this case, it will be a PDF file, which will contain all of the slides used in this course. There's also note cards. There is an instructor deck that I've set up, which will cover all of the material in this course. Next, there's course features, and these are features that we have for you to use to either help make using Linux Academy easier or also opening you up to using our community-based features, and those include our community and study groups. So now I'll switch over to linuxacademy.com. I'll give you a quick walkthrough on how to find all these various course materials or features. Okay, so here on linuxacademy.com, we are in the AWS Concepts course. Listed here, you will find all of the video lessons, including the quiz under recap, and under conclusion, there is the what's next video, titled here, What Should I Do Next? In terms of study guides, right here next to syllabus, you can click on study guides, and here you can download all the slides used in this course. To access note cards, you can click on note cards, and here you will find the instructor deck that I put together, which has 19 cards already pre-made for you of which you can fork by clicking this button here. When you fork them, it literally just makes a copy of these note cards into your account, and then you can use and edit them as you see fit. In terms of community, you can either click on community here and ask questions related specifically to this course, or you can always click on the community button here and go to the broader community as a whole. Also, if you feel so inclined, and I know that this is a short course, but you can also create a study group for this course in which you can recruit and be friends with other people that are currently taking this course if you want to study together or share your information and knowledge. And lastly, if you would like to create a schedule for this course, meaning that if you have specific times of the week that you know that you are available to study, you can use our course scheduler to actually input the date and times that you are available to study and it will create a study schedule for you. And this can be a very powerful tool as it will automatically set time aside for you and notify you of the times that you have chosen to study. So a great way to keep up to date and to not procrastinate is to use the course scheduler. So that covers all of the material and features used in this course. Thank you very much for choosing AWS Concepts and choosing Linux Academy and good luck with the course.